everyone and welcome back to the channel today we are taking a look at the x2 pro 3 gps smart drone it is a foldable 5g wi-fi fpv 4k camera electronic image stabilization three axis mechanical gimbal rc quadcopter ready to fly so taking a closer look it looks like a very nicely designed RC quadcopter. It has staggered foldable arms, so the motors are not at the same level. It has landing gear on each of the front arms and two landing pads on the rear of the body. There are no landing pads on the rear arms, but it will stick that landing. So we have the brushless motors with the individual leaflet style props. We have LED lights looking like eyes in the front, super bright. We have status LED lights on the front arms in red, and we have status LED lights in the rear arms in green. And we have the 5G Wi-Fi FPV 4K camera on a three axis mechanical anti shake gimbal now although it looks like it has a micro sd card slot it is just an opening and it does not have a built-in dvr so the photo resolution that is recorded is in 4k but the video resolution that is recorded is in 720p at 25 frames per second and it will be saved to the phone app and thus into your camera roll of the device being used it does however come with an optical flow sensor camera for indoor horizontal stabilization and there is the power push button on and off switch next to the battery level indicator led lights on the bottom the battery bay is in the rear and here is the battery. Push to release and pull to remove. Just like that. Now the battery is a 7.6 volt, 3000 milliamp size battery. It is set to be good for about 20 minutes of flight time. Charge it up via the micro USB port using the provided charge cable. It will take about three hours to fully charge. So slide it back in and it will lock into place. 
So the overall design of the quadcopter is really, really nice. The fit and finish looks really good. And the plastic material, although slightly on the thin side, it still feels pretty solid. It will weigh in at 258 grams with the battery, so it does weigh in over the 250 gram threshold, and it will need to be registered. The remote controller has flip-out antennas, but they are just for looks. The real antenna is tucked inside under the circuit board. Now, on this side of the remote controller, there's the rechargeable battery, and on the other side is the counterbalance weight. The gimbals feel really nice and smooth. And we have the two position spring loaded phone holder. But we do not have a fold out hand grips. Here's the power sliding on and off switch the MJX-like LCD screen. we got some LED light indicators. On the left shoulder, we have the speed changing rotary dial. Speeds one and two can be had. And we have the photo button. Short press for photos and long press for videos. On the right shoulder is the camera tilt angle adjustment dial and the smart return to home button. In the front, we have the GPS on and off button. We have the gyro and the compass calibration dual functioning button. Short press for gyro calibration and long press to initiate the compass calibration. We have the one key to take off and one key to land button the power button, and the headless mode button. Both sticks to the bottom and out will arm and disarm the motors of the quadcopter, and both sticks to the bottom and in will also disarm the motors of the quadcopter. Charge up the built-in battery via the micro USB port using the provided charge cable. All right, guys, so let's get started with the X2 Pro 3. Push in the battery all the way and hold the power button. Let go and check to make sure you got full battery and I do. So the quadcopter is ready. Let's turn on the remote. Automatic bind, there you go. So with any GPS quadcopter, the first thing you wanna do is calibrate the compass and to do so on this one, long press this gyro calibration button okay beep is heard now what you want to do is rotate it horizontally until a beep is heard let's see what that beep was for maybe it was for gps so horizontal rotation until a beep is heard there you go a beep is heard now vertical rotation until a couple of beep is heard that wasn't it. There you go. That's it. And I believe we are ready to fly. That's telling me GPS has been acquired. And let's see here. Yep, I got like 15 GPS satellites acquired. Now what you want to do is calibrate the gyro. So short press the gyro calibration button until the lights start blinking and then it turns solid again. There you go. Solid again. We are ready to go. Now let's start up the phone app and get into the app. It's called the RC GPS app. But first, go into your settings, go into your Wi Fi section of your settings, and connect to the XYS 5G Wi Fi network. And I'm already connected. Hit that app, and we are in. So let me go ahead and screen record. Three, two, one, boom. Screen is recording. Now from the drop down bar, you wanna choose the X2 Pro 3. There you go, and hit the controls tab. And we should get into the FPV mode here. Okay. 
All right, I don't have any FPV. It is stuck. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Okay, come on. There we go. It's moving a little bit. Oh, what a delay. Okay, it was doing fine at home when I tested it, but out here seems to have a lag. Oh my, that's quite a bit of lag. It's more like a few seconds. Okay, it's getting a little bit faster now. Okay. Okay, just needed to warm up a little bit. So let's check out the gimbal. What is all that beeping going on? Okay. I'm not sure what all that beeping is for. Now, just disregard those beeping, I guess. And check out the three axis gimbal. I'm rolling back and forth and the video is pretty steady has a little delay up and down that looks pretty good side to side three axis gimbal okay not bad so far all right so let's take some photos yeah it's got a big delay I'm not sure what that beeping is for guys battery is full yeah I'm completely connected I got 15 GPS satellites so and now it has stopped okay so maybe because I picked it up okay let's take some photos let's see photo button here short press there we go taking a photo let's make our rounds pick up the quadcopter oh man what a delay okay <laughs> my goodness Okay, let's take a photo of those mountains. Slightly crooked the horizon. Although the gimbal looks to be pretty straight. Okay, photo there. And it's still beeping. Come on. Photo here. And oh my, this is not good. Photo there. And let's take one more photo this way with the sun behind us. Come on, catch up. There you go. Photo there. One more. There you go. Photo there. All right, guys. <laughs> so it has a big delay, so I'm not really excited anymore. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do uh, to the second FPV. So that is kind of a bummer. So both sticks to the bottom and out. We'll arm the motors and also do that again. This arms the motors, both sticks to the bottom and out. And then ooh, my right stick is getting kind of stuck. And to the in position and hello, motors turn off as well. Now let's see if the one key to take off takes off uh, and arms itself as well. See, no beeping now. I guess the beeping is because I picked it up. So let's long press the one key to take off and it arms. And it takes off. Nice. Whoa. It is drifting. And what is this with the side to side activity? I'm not doing anything to the remote controller. Okay, so the GPS position hold is not the greatest here. It should stay in one spot and don't move. Well, it went back to where it took off from. But it's still doing that back and forth movement. I'm not sure what that is all about. And we do have 15 satellites. Hopefully you guys can see that back and forth movement. Now let's see. Let me just make sure I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording. All right, so let's bring it down and see if it does get angry shows how strong the GPS position hold is does get a little angry oh but when you let go it doesn't shoot back to the previous position it just kind of meanders over there <laughs> like it's taking its time and it's still doing that back and forth thing okay well let's go ahead and check it out speed number one okay full pitch and full y'all 
All right, so that it's speed and that is its turning radius on speed number one. I guess it'll be good for taking smooth videos, but my Wi-Fi FPV is frozen in time. So that is not good. Nice. Ah <laughs> oh, man, no video. Will I get it back? Will the video even come back? No? <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting any video. Oh wow. That sucks. Okay, so let's check out the one kilo land and establish our home point. So long pressing the one key to take off and land button. And you can still direct its path. There you go. And the motors turn off. There you go, motors turn off. Okay. Yeah, my video is still stuck guys. So that is too bad, isn't it? Wow. Let me just go ahead and kill the app. Starting the app again. X2 Pro 3 and hit the controls. And there we go. We got Wi-Fi FPV back, hopefully. So here is a recorded video clip all by itself, just so that you can see the quality of the video. So unlike what the product page says that it records in 720p, it actually records in 1080p. Now, however, there are a lot of frame drops, so it is not in sync with real time and therefore not usable in conjunction with real time videos like my visor cam video and the on screen recorded video. All right, I'm still screen recording. All right, so this time I'm going to go ahead and record a video and we got the yellow counter. All right, so this time I'm gonna arm and manually take off and it slowly takes off. Let's see. Oh, check this out. It's holding position now. It's not doing that back and forth movement. So the GPS is good. I got Wi-Fi FPV. Make a turn here. Yes, I got Wi-Fi FPV. All right, let's go forward. The horizon looks a little crooked though. And I got Wi-Fi FPV real time so I can FPV now turning around going away from myself okay because it has a three axis gimbal you don't see any pitch action <clears throat> and the camera is nice and stable so I'm going to go ahead and check out the camera tilt here bring it closer okay letting go and it comes to a hover nice oh I can go higher than zero degrees check it out I can go and look at the sky and hello oh man <laughs> it just all of a sudden reacted okay there I am I see a little vibration that's not good so I'll put one-third sky, two-third ground, and FPV this way. Oh, uh, and my FPV video is frozen in time now. Oh, I got it back intermittently. Ah, uh, that's not good. There you go, I got it back. Now I can FPV a little bit. So I'm going away from myself, but the camera is slightly tilted turning around and frozen in time again that is too bad yeah so Wi-Fi kind of sucks okay so speed number two guys and here we go full pitch full yaw huh 
it kind of has its faults here because it kind of bumps around while it's making the turn bring it in closer and show you guys the little bump uh, now it's not there you go there's a little bump there's another bump it's doing that by itself I'm not doing it okay so that is speed number two and there you go all right so let's go ahead and check out and see if it has returned to home letting go of the sticks comes to a nice hover and at least it's not doing that back and forth activity all right so return to home button is right here pressed it it's rising up in altitude put it to the pre-designated altitude and ha huh, it kind of went to the right then back and slowly curved its way to where it took off from but looks like it might miss it so let's see how close it gets coming down nice and gently though it's relatively quiet all right let's see looks like it'll touch down in the dirt right next to the takeoff landing pad all right and the motors do shut off let's put it back in the middle and look like the gimbal has tilted itself once again and there was some kind of a beep as well not sure what that was all right so let's go ahead and arm the motors again and i'm going to just manually take off again it takes a little while before it responds to my throttle and let go of the sticks why is it coming down huh it's just coming down it doesn't want to hold altitude anymore oh that is kind of strange am i out of battery already oh it looks like i got two bars remaining on the battery life indicator guys so i guess this is the behavior and we heard that beep but there was all kinds of other beeps so i'm not sure what's going on i can still fly but it wants to land excuse me <clears throat> yeah it's just coming down and it wants to land right now let's see but I can still fly it okay and if I let go it just starts to come down by itself so I guess we're already in the uh, low voltage two bars remaining that is not good that's too fast 20 minutes of flight time and it feels like I only got about 10 maybe less okay <laughs> all right guys so that's the behavior of this quadcopter very strange but I can still fly and I don't even have to throttle up I can just pitch and it'll go without dropping altitude I'm making a yaw turn and it's not losing altitude but once I let go it starts to drop wow very strange okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn GPS off okay GPS is off so this is the Addy mode so to speak no GPS and I'm still flying it Okay, coming down in altitude just a little bit so it'll be right in front of us it still has that bump on the turn and let me let go of the sticks and it still comes down okay so GPS is off but it still feels like I got GPS on and I can't really let it hover see what I mean feels like the GPS on is on and I'm thinking that maybe is the optical flow sensor doing its job holding position okay so I'm gonna turn GPS back on okay GPS is back on 
Okay, so if we are in low voltage already, there's not much time to fly this thing. So let's go and see if there's like a geofence. Okay, let's push it out. And I don't have video. I don't have live video, so I can't really tell how its behavior is. I can just see a dot. It's still going, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn around and come back. And I can still fly this thing pretty far. That's more than 100 meters, maybe about 200 meters. And I'm still flying it. And is it low voltage? Because if you look at the app, it says return home already. That little icon, return home icon, is in yellow. So if I let go of the sticks, it wants to land. But it's not coming back to where it took off from. So now we have one bar remaining on the battery life indicator on the LCD display on the remote control so I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with this and see what it does once the battery is completely dead there's no signal indicating it's in the uh, single bar remaining I'm wondering if it's going to give me like a uh, signal like a beeping signal to let me know if it's in the uh, critical low voltage phase so that is the behavior I've never had a quokka to behave like this where the low voltage is indicated by just uh, wanting to land the quokkapter itself wanting to just land on the spot wherever you let go of the sticks but you can still fly it huh and look I I don't have FPV again so that sucks see it just wants to come down and land itself but I can still fly this thing okay so let's just wait and see what it does once the battery is completely gone I do not recommend that you run the battery until it's completely gone because that is unhealthy for the battery so don't do that I would suggest you land the clock out there once the battery indicator goes to like one bar that means there's 25 percent charge left and you should land it before it goes below 20 percent to keep the battery healthy all batteries lithium batteries you need to keep a charge on it like if you guys got an electric vehicle you don't want to dry it all the way out you want to leave some in there like 20 percent and that is true with your phones and that is true with these drone batteries as well you want to keep about 20 percent charge left and land it and recharge it and unless you're flying it right away don't recharge it all the way up to 100 percent just recharge it up to at least 35 to keep it in just a charge mode and then maybe 80 percent until you want to fly and then charge it up to a hundred percent it's like there's a very long period to fly this thing around even though the quadcopter is wanting to land itself so you can still fly that's one thing good and it doesn't have a geofence so you can go beyond whatever 30 meters or 50 meters geofencing like some of the other quadcopters but the fact is uh, it won't hover so you won't be able to do any special functions I wasn't even able to test out failsafe let alone the uh, circle me and follow me 
because I don't think that those things will work because if I let go of the sticks to initiate like follow me or circle me it wants to land so you want to do some of those features you got to do it when the battery is completely full oh there's a constant beeping now and I do believe now it is telling me it is in the uh, critical low voltage but it is not thinking about landing and returning to home it just wants to land still yeah same behavior so let's just see what happens when the battery goes completely critical does it return to home at all or does it just land or does it fall out of the sky <laughs> so that's what we're gonna find out so the flight time of 20 minutes well is true but half the flight time is flying it to avoid itself landing let me go back down to speed number one okay we are in speed number one so we're just cruising so it can take nice smooth videos but my Wi-Fi is frozen so I don't believe my video is recording it'll probably be recording the frozen frame so anytime you got a freeze frame uh, it won't sync with real-time videos like my hat cam my visor cam so the video is going to be out of sync as well and it's still flying so <laughs> yeah yeah a very long period between uh, the low voltage initial low voltage where it just wants to land and when it completely lands so just going back and forth to see what happens guys so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to recommend this quadcopter not even for a beginner because it is kind of funky where you have to constantly fly you can't let go of the sticks it'll just come down and try to land itself and that was almost 10 minutes ago yeah so you can fly for about 10 minutes and then the other rest of the 10 minutes you're trying to avoid it landing not very good so if I let go yeah it's still trying to land it is not sluggish like the battery is depleting at all it will just suddenly deplete and it'll land itself hopefully so is it going to land itself come on run out of battery already so don't do this to any of your quadcopters until the battery completely dries out guys I do recommend that you land the quadcopter with 20% battery life this right here is probably damaging this battery right now and it's gonna take a very long time to recharge it up probably because it will take probably like three hours to charge it up from about 20% charge oh okay the beeping changed and then it went back okay a lot more faster beeping but it is still not thinking about landing I'm still flying it so obviously I don't think it's going to return to home I think it's just just going to uh, either drop out of the sky or hopefully it will land in its spot once the battery is completely dry so you can still try to make it back home Yeah, still going. Just gonna see what it does once the battery is completely dry. 
Oh wow, this is the final critical low voltage phase and I can still fly this thing for quite a while. Which is good, but it is not thinking about coming back home. And a GPS quadcopter needs to return home. Not leave it up to you. Oh wow, I'm still flying this thing. I'm tempted to press the return home button and see what happens. Shall we? Okay, let's just hit that return home button. And yeah, it does return home. Let me hit it again. Oh no, I can't stop it. It is coming. It is still going up and it is going to come home. Oh, oh, it couldn't make it back home. Not enough battery life. So it's got to come down and land. Ooh. And there you have it, guys. <laughs> the flight test of the X2 Pro 3 and the gimbal is going crazy. All right, so let me go ahead and turn this thing off. first and I'm going to slide that battery out and let me go ahead and stop my screen recording and stop the recording hello the app doesn't respond it's just frozen in time so I'm not sure if I got any video out of it anyhow I'm going to turn it off and get out of the app all right guys so there you go my test flight and review of the X2 Pro 3 GPS smart drone. I don't know if you can call it smart. Um, here I'm going to recommend that uh, skip on this one because at about halfway through its uh, battery life it went into that phase where it just wants to land. That is not good for anything. Uh, that is a behavior that I have never seen on a quadcopter before and the fact that it doesn't come home and land it just drops out of the sky at least it dropped out of the sky kind of softly and landed itself so that's good it didn't just cut off and just fall off from the sky so i say skip on this one guys and with that i'm going to conclude this video of the x2 pro 3 thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time